by talking to some of our clients, we can showcase some of the ideas that I've had that have helped them to get their businesses going. Malcolm has started a new business. Tell us about it, Mel. A couple of years ago, I had an idea of wanting to set up a marketing program for <clears throat> other people in the health and wellness industry. It's a very under-supported industry. So I had a, a great idea, and I've, I've kind of developed a program. But then I ran into the um, problem myself of not actually knowing quite how to take what I developed and get it out into the world. So I approached Rebecca to, um, at the start, it was simply to get a, a, a detailed marketing plan about how I would go about um, starting and then progressing through, um, at the time it was the first six to 12 months, really, of the marketing plan. <clears throat> and, um, and it was incredibly useful because, I, you know, I was, I was a little bit um, like a, a duck out of water at the time, you know, I was swimming around with this idea, but a little bit unfocused. So Rebecca really helped me focus with my, with the marketing, marketing plan, which is ironic considering I was doing a marketing program, but anyway, let's not go there. Um, and then, so, so, so that helped for the first six to 12 months, and now I'm still working with Rebecca, but we're kind of come going more into a, a partnership, working as a partnership really, where uh, I'm, I'm now focusing really on delivery of my program and Rebecca's helping me with the um, and taking over some of the actual marketing aspects that I just either haven't got time or, or as much interest in as Rebecca does and I'm certainly a believer in do the things I'm do the things I'm good at and farm out the things that I'm not so good at or at least that I'm not as interested in and, and Rebecca's been fantastic for that and <clears throat> and the last meeting I, I had with them I realised that in the space of about 30 minutes, they had done something that would take me about five hours to do at home. So I was incredibly grateful for that. <laughs> so yeah, it's been um, it's it's uh, I'm only at the beginning of only at the beginning of my journey, but I certainly feel like uh, it's gonna it's going a hell of a lot better with Rebecca than if I wasn't with Rebecca. Karen is an ambitious accounting firm who had just completed a merger when we first met, and we're still working together now, Karen. Three years later. <laughs> yep, we are. <laughs> um, so one of the things I realised in our business was that um, my, one of my responsibilities as a partner was to look after the marketing of our business. Um, between the three partners, we've sort of split up the um, areas, and for some reason, I got marketing. Um, and we had a an, we have a receptionist um, admin lady who is quite good at marketing um, at a administration level, and she was looking after all of the um, basic um, getting newsletters out and um, basic um, customer service type marketing. But we needed something in between that, so I'm not a marketing expert. She wasn't at a level that we, we could deliver the sort of marketing that we needed, and we needed someone in between um, initially to give us a marketing plan. So we, we got Rebecca on board and Creative Agency Secrets, and we developed a marketing plan um, what we wanted to achieve was to have regular um, communication going out to clients and non-clients. And so basically now we have a plan that we know 12 months in advance exactly what's going to be going out every fortnight, weekly, uh, monthly, as far as blogs and newsletters. And we know what topics are going to be on in advance and Rebecca helps us with that. Um, we also needed to be seen as experts in the marketplace. So it was important that we had information on our website and information that was going out to the marketplace that showed that we were experts and Rebecca has helped us to um, promote ourselves in that way. Um, we needed to be better seen on web searches. So when people went into the um, internet and put in something like accountant East Tamaki, accountant botany, that we would actually come up on the um, front screen, and we now do, um, we didn't before, but we now come up with most searches in the top three. Um, I think it's really important also for us to have show a good example to our clients that we are actually doing marketing, because it's something that we talk to our clients about doing, and so we're now able to um, give a good example to clients that we're you know, promoting ourselves and um, doing well in that area. 
And the other th last thing was the um, ability to split our clients up into types and know where, where, where to target for our clients, and Rebecca has helped us with that. And lastly, Daniel, now you're a professional selling a service, but you've just started becoming a blogger. Yes. Um, uh, well, it, I do retail and property consultancy, and um, you know, like we all do, we I have a website, and uh, but then you're always looking for that extra thing that you can do. So I started doing a blog about six months ago, which I published once a month, and uh, that was good. But then, you know, we all, or the majority of us, belong to the LinkedIn sort of network system, and. Uh, and I thought, well, I think I'm going to start publishing them there, but I didn't get any response from it. And I said, what am I doing wrong? So Rebecca, we met, and Rebecca sat down with me and went through it, and I was doing everything totally wrong, of course. So um, uh, she showed me the way of how to actually communicate those posts properly on LinkedIn, because if you have more than 100, uh, like I have 160, uh, connections in LinkedIn. I mean, I want them all to actually be able to to see what I'm up to and also to promote the what we're doing today. And that Rebecca was uh, really her help was invaluable, and I do appreciate that. And uh, and that's basically it. And hopefully she'll keep on helping me going forward. And thank you.